again and welcome back to Scott Wonders World. A beer never wanted to do. Never wanted to do it. Um, but <coughs> it was kindly sent. Kindly. Was it was it kind, Josh? Was it a kind thing to do, in all honesty, to send me and wonder this hateful beer um but yeah sent to us by a friend of our channel not just a friend of the channel um my friend josh edwards back in i think november <laughs> he sat in the fridge i keep looking at it and i can't bring myself to even open the can uh but one does not here on board i got nothing to do so I thought, you know what? I'm going to have a look at John Smith's Extra Smooth. Josh, Josh sent me a load of stuff back. I think I sure think it was November time. Um, from um, um, Josh is based up in in Huddersfield. He sent me some beers from Yorkshire, and there was some very nice stuff. There was some nice Magic Rock stuff, um, and there were other bits and pieces. Um, the Yorkshire pudding beer, which I'm hoping Josh is going to be able to get hold of. Because I want to do a joint review with him on it. Because uh, that's a new thing we're going to do. You kindly send us beers. Then in return, I'd like you to pick one of those beers uh, to come on and do a review with both myself and Wanda. Or just me, depending on what the, sort of the style of beer is going to be. Uh, so Josh is currently looking out for um, the Yorkshire Pudding beer. I shouldn't have got to do this with me really, shouldn't I? And um, Matt Mills, Mark Jenkins is uh, looking out for the color, uh, cherry cola sour. Uh, we're gonna do that as well. So um, yeah, John Smith's from the Tadcaster Brewery. Now my understanding is that John Smith's is now brew, owned and brewed by Heineken. Um, so I don't even know if the Tadcaster Brewery still exists, whether it's brewed there or it's just a name. If you can let me know in the comments, that would be most appreciative. Uh, Tadcaster, extra smooth, I haven't had a John Smith's in a very long time, and certainly not since Heineken got involved with it. So, yeah, what, I don't know what percentage is these days, what's it, about 4%? 3.6%, okay. Extra smooth, so it's got a widget in it. So we can hear that. So it's gonna come out like a, like a nitro stout. In, you'll see the cascade, and then there'll be nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, so I'll get it out. Let's have a look at it. Anything exciting on the side of the can? A distinctive, full flavoured small ale. Smooth ale. Small. Ingredients water, malted barley, glucose syrup, barley hops, hop extract. And nitrogen for the widget. No idea how much it costs. It's in a 440ml can. It's going to be shite. But let's have a look. Let's see how we get on. There goes the widget. Get it into the glass. And see what it doesn't give us. Let's get it all out. We don't want to waste any, do we? Ever forbid we waste any of this glorious bit. Thanks, Josh. In the glass. Completely honest. In the glass. It looks nice. One of the um the the widgets done its bit and it's it's forced the car uh, the nitrogen in, so it gives you that cascade effect. Looks really nice. I've got to be honest. I can't lie. It doesn't look bad. Uh, so while that settles down, we'll give it a bit of a wriggle, and obviously you get a nice, really creamy, smooth head. I'm guessing that's where the pleasantries are going to fucking end. So let's let's give it a nose and see what we get. Cheers, Josh. Awesome.
a bit of sweet malt. Caramel, tiny bit. If depression was a beer, it'd smell like that. I'm not looking forward to it. On the aroma, like a little, very little, very little aroma. Um, yeah, here we go. Cheers. The widget's giving it a, a nice body. A nice creamy body. Very thin. Very thin. But it's packed out by that, nit that nitrogen widget. So that thinness is hidden, actually. Not well, but it's hidden. Smells like copper. And for a couple of coins. Depression in the glass. Tastes like depression in the glass. Very little flavour. Bit of sweet malt. That's about it. <laughs> That's about it. Um, can I say anything positive about it? No. <laughs> I can't. I'm trying. I'm trying to be nice. Um, laces the glass nicely, I suppose. I could say that, couldn't I? Um, I had it years ago, years and years and years ago, before Heineken sucked the life out of that, because there's no life in that. It's lifeless, flavourless, tasteless swill. Dreadful. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle. Fucking Jesus Christ. It's a, it's a thumbs down. <laughs> Could only be a thumbs down. Uh, Josh, thank you so much for sending it. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Um, if you like it, then feel free to comment. Um, and tell me why I'm wrong. I'm always up for comments and I'll reply. And um, we'll have some banter about it because uh, there is nothing. There's no redeeming features in that beer at all it's it's basically drain pool um which is probably where it's going to go in all in all fairness to it so um yeah um john smith's extra smooth brewed at the ted caster brewery owned by heineken one of the worst beers we've had on this channel dreadful um yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you don't give it a thumbs down there's a the subscribe button if you like the content um, it also helps the channel out. And, um, yeah. Cheers, Josh. Awesome. <laughs>